So you want to downgrade your iPhone 4 to basically any iOS version that you desire. You can go as low as iOS 4 depending on which model you have. Well, today I'll be showing you that. It is very simple. All you will need is a genuine Apple cable, a MacBook, or any Mac, I should say, or a Linux computer, which if you don't have any of this, like you have Windows or something, you can just use a, a live boot Linux USB and plug it into your Windows computer and boot it off that and run Linux to use to do this downgrade basically. So um, yeah, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna open up your web browser. And what you're gonna do is you're going to go to this link I have in the description for legacy iOS kit. And what are you gonna do here basically? You're going to download whatever version of a legacy iOS kit that you want. So if you're on a Mac OS, you get the Mac OS one. If you're on x86 Linux, you get x86 Linux. If you're on ARM64, for some reason, you get ARM64. And yeah, so you download that, basically you extract the file and what you're gonna do here. So what you're gonna do basically is you're gonna plug your iPhone 4 into your computer. And what you're going to do next, I'm gonna put this here so you can see for now. And what you're gonna do is you're going to open up your terminal, which is not very hard to find. And what you do here is you're now going to find your legacy iOS kit Mac folder, which um, I already have right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find restore.sh you're going to drag it into here, down, uh, update probably. It'll also probably prompt you to install Xcode if you don't have Xcode already installed to do that, of course. And now, as you can see, we are now into legacy iOS kit. And it, based on what model you have, you can downgrade to whatever version you desire. We're always gonna use powder snow for this to do the downgrade always, but depending on which model you have, you can only go down as so low as you want. Like if you have a like, late 2012 model iphone 4 you can only go down to like ios 6 um if you have a 8 gigabyte um you can go down you can go as low as like and now you've opened that up um i would recommend going back into firefox or whatever browser you have and you go to this other site which i'll have linked in the description ipsw.me and here is where you're actually going to find out which ios version you can downgrade to so how do you find that out basically because some of these um, are later models where you can only downgrade so far. So if you're in Legacy iOS Kit and you see iPhone 3.2, that means you probably can't downgrade to any other version lower than this. So if you see like, um, what you're gonna want basically is if you see, if you see like iPhone 3.3 for like CDMA, or you see iPhone 3.1 for like GSM, um, or if you see iPhone 3.1 for GSM, that is what you want. If you are on iPhone 3.2, you can only go as low as iOS 6, sadly, which is not fun, of course, it's gonna be slower, but that's as best you can do. But there is a catch to this where it's 4.0, but for some of these, if you have like an eight gigabyte model, which is what I'm going to be do performing the downgrade with, um, you can only go as low as iOS 5 here. And if you're on CDMA, I believe you can only go as low as iOS 5 as well. So if so, what you're gonna want basically, if you want to go all the way down to iOS 4, is you're going to want a um, GSM model, non 2012 model, non 8 gigabyte model, basically. So anyway, that is besides the point. I have a 3.1, aka GSM 8 gig model, so I can only go as low as iOS 5.0, as that is the first this launched with, and. I believe you can't do go all the way down to four or baseband limitations, what I kind of meant there basically. So anyway, once you've gotten your restore IPSW for 5.0, the next one you're going to want is you're going to get the latest one. So the latest one for me is 7.1.2 and probably should be 7.1.2 for everybody. So I don't know why I said that. So anyway, you're gonna hit download on that. Sorry all about all the ads in this garbage. There's loaded with adware on this site. I'm not sure why but it's it's authentic, so don't worry about that. Okay, so once you've downloaded both of those IPSWs and you have Legacy iOS Kit launched and up and running, um, you can now you can now go to restore slash downgrade and you're gonna find Powder Snow for any iOS version. And you're going to be using a Powder Snow exploit to basically downgrade to any iOS version as that exploit is available for iOS 7. And that's also kind of why the reason you can downgrade to iOS 6 on an iPhone 5 running iOS 7. So anyway, enough yapping. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna find your select target IPSW, which is the one that you're going to downgrade to. I downgrade, I wanna downgrade back to iOS 5.0, aka total SSL, of course. So I'm going to find that restore IPSW, which mine, it took me like eight minutes to find it, is right here. 
So that's your target. And it's going to do the stuff it needs to do. Okay, and then now you're going to select your base IPSW, which is iOS 7. So what you're going to do here is you're going to find your iOS 7 one. Choose that. And now you can choose whatever Apple logo you want here. Um, I'm not doing that because I don't really care about that. So I'm just going to hit start restore. Jailbreak, I jailbreak. Memory option for creating custom IPSW. This really only depends on whether you have 8 gigabytes of RAM or higher on your MacBook or whatever computer you're using i don't because this is like a crappy macbook air so i'm gonna say no um verbose boot this just so it shows the code when you're booting and what it's actually doing i'm gonna say no it's now you choose pwn dfu or kdfu we're not doing kdfu because this really doesn't matter pwn dfu is just as easy as kdfu so you're just gonna send it to recovery mode which i'll show you now what it does here okay now we're in recovery mode right here and now you can do dfu mode next which dfu mode is not very hard how dfu mode works basically is of course you're going to need a working power and home button for this part so what do you do how it works basically is you have your power and your home button right so you're going to hold the power and the home button for about 10 seconds or however long a script is showing and then you're going to hold the home button for another like 10 -ish seconds or something and then you're going to let go and then you're in dfu mode and the restore should start oh let's do this so it, it's going to have a countdown for you to get ready oh i was a little bit late there that's all right so top and home button you can see powers off let go i'm going to continue holding the power home button i mean okay and it's now going to attempt to pwn your device and get start to restore oh and it looks like we successfully went to pwn dfu mode so now I'm going to let this on time lapse and just going to show you what it does basically. Depending on which iOS version you restored to, um, you might not even have this activation screen. If you were on iOS 4, you'll have to. If you were on iOS 4, you'll have to connect to iTunes and have it activate itself and everything. So yeah, let me activate this. And there is a high chance you get this activation error. And what you can do to fix this, since you've jailbroken, assumedly, what you're going to do here is you're going to connect right back to your computer. And we're just going to completely back bypass this by activating and not really waste any time because you could technically like wait and see if that if it just like fixes itself and act, act activates later. But I'm not going to do that because I don't really care. So like you can even try here. It won't work. I'm actually going to restore from my backup anyway because I want to do that to be honest. If you didn't have a backup to restore from, what you would do in here basically is you would activate your device and if you are already activated you would just like patch the lockdown by just putting an alpine your password and everything i'll 
throw on how to do this quickly because I already have video of me doing that. So you've just freshly downgraded a device that is an iPhone 4 or lower and you're getting this error right here. There's no SIM installed on the iPhone you're trying to activate. Well today I will be showing you how to fix that via activation which is very easy so let's get straight into this. Now you're going to open terminal and you're going to drag this file from legacy iOS kids folder. Restart at sh into terminal. Hit enter. Also, you got to make sure this is connected at this point. So you're just going to hit uh, go down here. You're going to find useful utility and you're going to find hacktivate. So you're going to hit hacktivate. Um, you're going to hit enter and return or return. I mean, and now you're going to put in the SSH root password of your device, which should be Alpine, aka A L P I N E. And then you hit enter. It will look like you didn't type it in, but I promise you did. Just hit enter anyway. Now it's going to try to uh, attempt to patch the lockdown, which is what, how hacktivation works. And this, so anyway, it's going to do that. So give it a second. And it will now restart your device. And upon restart, this should be activated. So I'll just let that do that its thing, and I'll show you as it does that. Now you should be to the setup screen, and uh, this doesn't mean you're not activated. And you can see it gets past activation very easily, so I'm just going to enable it. Get that, set of iPhone, skip that for now. Agree, don't send for me. But otherwise, you are now activated and you are downgraded. And just to prove to you that I, I was 5.0, here you go. And, um, yeah, that's the video. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful and or interesting, please like, subscribe, and share so someone might find this also helpful and or interesting. Also, please subscribe. When you subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you know if I want to come up with brand new videos. Check out my social media accounts, which will be on the end card. And also, if you need any help, please let me know in the comments of what your issue is. And, uh, yeah, this is Madera from Certified Legacy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.